just and they haven't been much fun to play against this season, have they? Yeah, we've done pretty well playing them after they've taken a loss all season, um, which, you know, we know what they're going to bring. And I thought their physicality was just superior to us to start the game and took us out of uh, key areas that we wanted to attack. And so full credit to them, um, you know, a, a very Melbourne-like game. And that's the challenge we wanted and we didn't quite handle it. But, uh, like, I look at... When I go back, I know there's going to be moments there where you know we make a shot here, we we execute a little bit better there, and we're, we're going to be right there. And um, that's where we have to sit right now. We can't get too high or too low. Uh, we control our destiny here on out. Um, so we've got to learn from it and bounce back next week. It did kind of feel like a perfect storm up against them again, didn't it? Whereas they were coming off a loss, so they, they had that motivation. They got Shay and Joe back into the lineup. They just seemed like they... They had a point to prove, and unfortunately, you were on the end of it. Yeah, but we wanted that. Like we wanted them at full strength. We wanted to, you know, play them at their best, and when they were hungry, and uh, because that's what we need to keep getting better. And uh, you know, that's the things that when we go back to review, we're going to look at that and learn from it and be better for it. And yeah, frustrating that we didn't get the result tonight. We, we're never going to be uh, happy when we're giving up, you know, 17 points off turnovers, the second chance points hurt us like all the effort areas that we really try and hang our hat on um, and you know we know if we we only have 77 points um, you know it's going to be tough to to win against a team like that so you know a lot of things that we can do better um, collectively we've all got to contribute and that's where our focus will go obviously given the scoreline you can play better but it might sound funny to say but it kind of felt like you didn't play that badly it's just your shots weren't falling for them a lot of the noise, is that kind of how you, how you feel right now? It's definitely my first reaction is, uh, you know, like going back, I know I'm going to be like, if that one goes down, we're in, we're right there. Um, I thought they closed out the first quarter really well. Um, in my head, there was no way I was calling a timeout tonight in that first because that's hurt us in the last two games against them. And, you know, we gave up a couple of transition threes there that were frustrating because, you know, they're the things that you speak about going into this one. And, um, you know, I thought Joe came out and, and really targeted our bigs and got the better of them tonight. And, um, you know, they're the things that they're all controllables for us. So, again, we're not going to get too low on it. We're going to learn from it um, and make sure we prep as best as we can for Illawarra next week. Sam, what did you make of things out there tonight? Yeah, like Justin said, it was physical. Um, I think they do a great job of that. Like he said, bouncing back uh, after taking losses. Um, but yeah, I guess they're the standard right now. Um, and we need to start controlling the things that we can control in terms of putting together four quarters of effort, um, not having those lapses. Um, you know, I think we did a good job of kind of wrestling there in the second and third quarter, but then, you know, one or two lapses and, and it blows out to 15 or so again and, and you're fighting an uphill battle. Um, so, yeah, we just need to get to that next level. It's hard to, I guess, to get too excited, excited after a loss, but at the same time, the record crowd tonight for, for this building in, in Brisbane, Sam, what was it like to play out there in, in front of the, the fans? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, I think they've been... Pretty awesome all year. Um, gets pretty loud in here, and, and I think the guys definitely feed off that. Um, yeah, the energy in the building tonight was incredible. Justin, Casey getting the start and playing 24 minutes, and obviously his production will get naturally get there once he plays more, but for him to play those minutes and to show the good signs and to be moving well out there, um, you would have liked a lot of what you saw. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, we got thrown a curveball late with uh, Bannon um, being ill and, you know, perfect opportunity for Case to take another step forward uh, for us. And, you know, like I got in a little bit of trouble. I played him a little bit uh, more than I was meant to, but um, he's definitely getting close to where there's no more restrictions on it. And, you know, he's... His impact's going to be great and has been great for us. And, yeah, like, I think he fatigued late, but, you know, the way he started the game kind of helped set a bit of a tone for us. Um, and we expect him to keep getting better and better. So, you know, what we need is to get our other four-man back and then we can feel pretty good about where we're going. Hopefully the fact that it's only one game for this weekend means you don't get in too much trouble from playing, playing those yeah, games. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> One one game to go now each week over the next three weeks. Um, 
how do you approach it, and what are you what are you hoping to see starting next week? In what's a a must win game, pretty much against the Hawks. Yeah, I want to see a response like we had after the Perth game. Um, you know, we're the two best teams right now in this league, we haven't handled the way we wanted to. So, you know, we need to respond and we talk about a response because there's discipline in that and how we approach it and that's that's where we'll start. And um, But as I said, we're not going to get too low on it. We know there's some good things we did tonight. Uh, we know we control our own destiny and, you know, like depending on how results go this round, we may still be sitting where, where we started the round. So for us, it's living in the moment and staying in that uh, presence where we keep working on our habits. We know we're not our, our finished product yet. Um, and that's the exciting part is like I know there's so much more that we've got to grow with this group and you know we've got three weeks to to get to that point try and put ourselves in a playoff position and you know I'm sitting here pretty happy with that right now. Sam how are you feeling with three weeks three games to go and I guess like Justin said destiny in your hands in, in a lot of ways. Yeah great um yeah I think the coaches do a great job of preparing us each and every week and you know, getting all our bodies back, hopefully, and, and taking care of our bodies and, and prepping the right way for these next three games, I think is key. And um, yeah, I think we put our best foot forward and, and come out with a good result on the end of it. Thank you very much, guys. Any other questions? Sweet, thanks. Thanks, guys. Thank you.